Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Kindly make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you register with Excel Academy. In this tutorial, I'm just going to look at the different structures of the skin, of which I'm just going to focus on how to label the different structures of the skin. Let's quickly start and look at this first part. So the first part we have been asked to label these structures which have been projected so if you look at a a is just showing the free nerve endings and then b is just showing the um persinium corpusco and then c is just showing the mesna corpusco then we have the last one which is the crowds let's quickly move on and look at the next part so when you look at this part, this part we are focused on labeling all the parts of the skin. So please make sure that as you prepare for your gross anatomy, as you prepare for your histology, make sure that you know how to identify these parts and how to label them. So A is just the sweat pores where the sweat lives and then B is just the demo papillary, then C is just the mesinas Corpusco. Okay, so the mesinas corpusco is normally responsible for sensing the light touch. And then D, E, F are just showing the different layers of the skin. So the first one is epidermis, then we have dermis, and then the hypodermis. Then G is showing the another type of corpusco which is uh, which is able to detect any vibration and this is known as the Pacinian corpusco. Then H is just showing the blood vessels and also the lymph vessel. So the blood vessels you have the vein in the vein, the artery and also the lymph vessel. Then I, I is just showing the nerve fiber J is showing the papillary of hair. So when you go much in detail, when you just consider the hair itself, it has a lot of components that you need to take note of. So you have the hair follicles, you have the hair bulb, you have the, the demo layer and many, many other parts, which I'll explain later on in the next slides so uh k is just the hair follicle l is just the sebaceous glands which are um which are exocline in nature and normally these guys they just spray in the production of a uh, hormone then m is the areta pili muscle then n is just the stratum gemina tisva and then they are this but is branched into two. Then we have the stratum spinosum and stratum basal. Then O is just the pigment layer, and then P is just the stratum corneum. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. This was Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Kindly make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you click on the notification button.